I'm going to feature another one of those um, uh, unusual and fairly rare OK vertical discs that I came across a few weeks ago. And uh, as you can see, this has the distinct uh, logo of the Indian up at the top. And it shows you how to position your uh, sound box uh, for playing OK records. And of course, it's a vertical group, and I have my sound box positioned as so noted. The playing speed is 80 revolutions per minute, which was the same as uh, Pathé records at the time. And these came out around 1918, 1919. I believe this one is from 1919. And these were produced by the Otto Heinemann Phonograph Supply Company of 23 West 45th Street in New York City. The record of quality. They play with either a uh, sapphire or steel needle. We're going to play this with the uh, sapphire needle. And it's a superior in tone, distinct and clear music, perfectly reproduced, unmarred by mechanical noises or scratching. So, that's the uh, dust jacket, which is probably even rarer than finding these records. But let me put this on for you. It's I'm Always Chasing Rainbows. I'll let you guess the artist. It should be pretty clear as to who he is. He was one of those uh, early artists who really knows how to roll his R's correctly.
Well, I'm sure you all recognize that one as uh, Henry Burr, also known on other records as Harry McClaskey, and on Edison as Irving Gillette, and probably one of the most prolific tenors from the around the turn of the century up through the uh, late 1920s. Hope you enjoyed that. That was I'm Always Chasing Rainbows, classic of its time, from the musical Olaf, composed by McCarthy and Carol.